It's a new dawn, it's a new day, and it's a new problem for me. <laughs> because I've just run out of power, and it was kind of expected because of the amount of demand that we, sh well, put and strained the uh, power grid last time because of all the copper stuff, right? Because if we look at the power grid, I've tried to reboot it a few times, but we can already see the curvature is coming down. And it was the wind that was keeping us going. It was keeping us afloat. Um, so I tried it and we just can't reboot right now. So I'm thinking we have a problem in regards to our um, biomass burners up here. But if we actually quickly check our supply here, we can already see when everything's turned on, it's going to be 1,052 megawatts. And we only have capacity for 406 so maybe, just maybe, today is the day we're looking to refine power and steam. So I can already see we have biomass backed up onto the lines. The storage is probably full. It is. This is way back full. Everything's fine here. These are turned off. I think it's just a power demand scenario we've got right now. We can kind of see... On the power grid, we are sitting around about 450 megawatts of power being consumed. I have a feeling this was running fine and the old plant over there is the one that's run out. Because how many have we got over there? Eight. If we do eight times 30, that's an additional 240 on top of the 12 we have here, which is 360. Because we've not been manning that and keeping an eye on that, we've run out of biomass over there, which has strained the power grid on this. So let's extend these a little bit further for now, just so I can start sciencing what we want to do with steam power. So let's just connect the... Oh my God, hello. Let's start connecting these up. Oh my God, hello. <laughs> Deja vu. And then we can, yeah, like I said, look into steam power and see what we want to do. Look at the numbers uh, because it's a whole new territory for me and you. Why do they seem closer? Oh, because they're, wait. Oh, yeah, there was the wrong way around. That would be why. Because the input's on this side, not going down the middle here. Okay, this is, a, this is a good start. This is a perfect start to the day. We're already forgetting things, power problems, and we're only just getting started with this mod. We're not even into the nitty gritty, into the good, good stuff. And things are already startled to rattle the bit's brain. <laughs> I love speaking to myself in third person. It's weird. Connect them all up with 160. Mark, what, see, I can't even, I can't even think today. I think today is going to be, a little, yeah, okay, whatever. Maybe I should just restart this whole recording. But you know what? I'm just going to leave it in because, you know, not every recording goes perfectly. And you guys can see bloopers. Wait, is that connect? Is that lined up? Yes, you're lined up. There was two lines there and I was like, hold on a minute. But yeah, today is going to be a fun day. Zoop, zoop. Oh, I cannot wait for a jetpack. I cannot wait for a jetpack. I might have to go on and do a bit of an exploring around the map to see if we can find Jetpack Johnny. And for those that don't know, yes, right from the get-go, you can go to any location where a hog potentially spawns, or if you know where they spawn, uh, you can go there and you can find a hog with a jetpack. Um, very, very at the start of the game. That makes no sense. Very, very at the start of the game. Like I said, today's going to be a good day. It's probably going to take me an extra two hours to record this video because brain goes brap. And then all I need to do now is just power these up, get them onto the grid. These don't daisy chain, do they? No, that's surprising. Would have been nice. So I have noticed as well, just a few people commenting like, oh, you should add this mod, you should add this mod. I'm not going to add any more mods, just so you are aware. Uh, the reason being, this is just a look at the straight, uh, just, just a look at the Satisfactory Plus mod. We're not going to do a full modded playthrough until after 1.0 and we'll be introducing other mods that will give me decorational pieces that will give me uh, belt readers so we can uh we can already we can see the numbers that are going to be on the belt that pass through the uh scanner kind of thing i've got what it's called for the mod um if efficiency checker i think it is um 
And then I want to look at some other mods, you know, all that kind of stuff. This particular playthrough, this mini series we're doing right now, is just to showcase this mod in its glory and what it can do without any additional mods. Yes, I am using it. The only additional mod I'm using is the inventory mod because I, I believe this mod 100% needs it, especially with all the diff different items and all that kind of stuff. Um, so with that now being said, I'm pretty sure... Oh, no, 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 no. We need to connect you up to something. No, we need to connect you to you. Uh, I need another... Never mind. Wait, actually. You're all linked. You're all linked, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. I just need to get a power grid over here. And just touch it to you. Okay. And... <gasps> Boom. We should be fine. Yes, we've got a capacity of... I'm going to say 700. Because I don't know where the wind is currently at right now. I can't stick my finger up. You know, like golfers do. Test the wind speed. We can't do that. I think it would be kind of nice, maybe if this mod introduced a UI, or maybe something you can unlock in the MAM for the UI, so you can kind of see the current wind speed without going to the wind turbines, right? Because the wind turbines have to be a set distance. I don't remember if I talked about this in a previous video. So I'm going to go over it again. So with the wind turbines, if we place one down and you connect it to a power line like this, right? Connect it to a power line. We can see it does the spinny spinny thing where right now we can see the elevation is 64. We can see the wind speed is 30%. The output is fluctuating up and down. That is because I don't know why. If it was to do with wind speed, that would probably drop down. You know what I mean? So I'm thinking either something's not working in the UI here. Give us the correct reading of why this is dropping. Because the only thing I can think of is wind speed. That's the only thing I can think of. But wind speed right here is still stating 30%. And this will drop down and go back up. So I would... I don't know if, if somebody in the... Uh, what's it called knows about this but also apparently i were, when I, I was doing a live stream of this uh Chrysium, the uh the satisfactory plus mod maker you could say the developer for this mod was telling me you can hit r when you've got the wind turbine and it shows the radius however that is not my case i don't know what it is i've not changed any key binds and it, apparently it wasn't happening happening so he has jotted it down because what i found out is if you put down uh, a wind turbine next to one that's already powered you can see this one stop now it does tell you in the description that wind turbines have to be a certain distance and the distance i found is so this is one foundation distance two three four but if we go to the fourth one here that one has stopped but if i remove this now that's gone back up uh, that's up and running but if we go back to this fourth one and then shift it by one so basically 4.1 in distance get that up that one is now still spinning so you need a minimum of 4.1 foundations so one two three four i said 4.1 but 3.6 anyway let's check the power grid again we are currently sitting like i said we're just going to go at a capacity of 700 so we've got 200 leeway on top of what we already have or consuming i should say all right so the next plan of action is to disconnect the power yeah so i've just <laughs> since I've, I've just fixed what we needed to fix i've disconnected the whole power from the grid because i've diverted the biofuel well the bio water i should say from here from going over there to this because i want to look at and want to science what we want to do with steam and i think it's good that we go over uh, my thinking about this on how it's going to work, right? Because we already know inside the power section, the first point of contact is going to be the biomass heater, which needs a boiler platform. So let's just put one of these down. Nothing's going to be neat and tidy right now. So just take that into consideration. We're just basically just looking at numbers. We're looking at where things are going to get routed to, routed and all that, routed from and all that kind of stuff, right? So we already know this biomass heater requires some uh, items in here and the the mod actually gives us a full-on wiki right so if we look at buildings we want to go into here and we want to look for heater biomass heater and a biomass heater we're going to be using solid biofuel which is right here 
So solid biofuel, it requires 7.5 solid biomass per minute to make carbon dioxide, right? The only reason we need this heater is because it's going to boil water that is going to be going into the boiler on the top of it. So the boiler is if we look into if we look into that in the wiki and we search boiler in it. Oh, it's right there actually. The boiler requires 22.5 water per minute. And something I have noticed, it says 22.5 right here for the boiler. But if we go into the actual building itself and go inside here, it says, um, once we get things running, it will say 22 a minute. So take that into consideration and double check the wiki. Even though it says 22, it should be 22.5. But because the satisfactory UI doesn't allow 0.25 in this area here for some reason, uh, it won't work. So we need to put 22.5 water in there. What we're going to do is we're going to ignore the water for now. We already know we uh, will be bringing, uh, how much water is this producing per minute? 15, so 1530, uh, 15, 30, 60, 75. We're going to be bringing in 75 water. We will 100% need to bring in a water extractor, which can go underneath this flooring down into this area right here. And I didn't want to fall down there. And before I go ahead with continuing this build, I just want to thank you all for the love and the support on this series. You guys have truly rocked it. So thank you so much. I appreciate you. And uh, yeah, that's going to be it from the, the soppy stuff from me. So uh, yeah, back to this. We now have the biomass heater, the boiler. And then from there, it needs to go into, I think... Wait, no, no, no. We need to figure out the CO2, right? Go inside here. This is going to output CO2 on the biomass heater with a biomass input. So yeah, carbon dioxide at 15 per minute. So that needs to go into a CO2 chimney. So we put a cooling platform down. So that's going to go at the side here. Take into consideration... We're not just going to be having one of these. We're probably going to have maybe five or six, um, which will give me the correct amount of numbers. So on this platform, we want to put a CO2 chimney. The CO2 chimney uh, consumes 75 uh, CO2 per minute. Okay. Well, methane. Um, so that will get rid of what we need to in there. Cool. I should have left that there. So I know what buildings I'm going to need for this whole build. Put you back down. So the CO2 is going to come out of there and it's going to go into there, get put up into the atmosphere and kill all the, the plants. However, the boiler, if we go back into the wiki, the boiler is going to... Uh, boiler is going to be giving me 30 hot steam per minute. And then we need to look into the turbine because this is going to consume... So if we put a turbine down here... I put it on the wrong side. We have to take into consideration these arrows right here on this platform for this to go this way, right? So the hot steam will come into this side, into this input, and it's going to consume. We can't tell by the UI here. So, yeah, we go into here, type in turbine, mark one, and it's going to consume 30 hot steam. Beautiful. But it's going to give off 30 cold steam. So we need to make sure we get rid of that which I would guess will go into a steam cooling tower, like so. So that goes onto there. And this has a 150 a minute consumption. We don't need to, you know, maximize this or prioritize this. As long as this, or well, sorry, as long as this machine is receiving less than 150, that is all that matters, as well as the CO2. As long as the CO2 is less than 75, that's being sent in the atmosphere we want we know we won't have any byproducts backing up so then from this we now need to add a generator onto this and this generator should provide us if i'm not mistaken by looking into this one it provides us 150 megawatts of power so what we need to look out look at for like what we're going to be making is we need to find the numbers that we're going to be producing in regards to solid biomass so this system here is making us 60 120 150 
So this is only set to 30%, remember, well, 50%, because of the uh, input from one machine. Yes, it could be more if I had more bio water to give you six, and then I can make, you know, 180 solid biomass. I know this. I know about this, but we're ignoring that. And uh, what I want to do is we know we've got 150 solid biomass. So if we do our calculations, 150 solid biomass divided by 7.5 is going to be 20 machines we can put down. So 20 biomass heaters. We've got to take into consideration we have Mark II belts with a capacity of 120. So we do have to make sure that before we even merge any more biomass. So I'm going to duplicate this to here, which will give me 60 there, 60 here. And then the one on the end, which will give me 30. As long as this 30 gets merged onto this 120 line after 30 has already been consumed by the biomass heaters, we should be Gucci. So all I need to do now is figure out what we want to do for placement in regards to this. So yeah, I'm going to have to duplicate this, which will go onto this side. And then we can start working on this bit. So I'm going to skip this whole bit here because you've seen me do this before. But I'm going to get back to you before we start building this so we can go through it together. All right. So I have got done with this whole entire thing right now. And we've literally done exactly the same as what I've done over here. Uh, so what we need to look into now is we now need to figure out where we want to put the heaters, the steam vents and the pipes where they need to get routed to and all that kind of good stuff. So I think the first thing we're going to go off is we're going to merge these two uh, biomass lines here. So we're just going to go from here. This is bringing out 60. This is bringing out 60. And we're just going to merge them two lines together. Which, technically, if we look at this gap here, we could put down a splitter right here, like so, with a Mark II, because we are combining 60 and 60 now, into this. So I'm just wondering to put the heater straight here, and then we start figuring out the space in this direction. So we're going to go with the power. We're going to need a boiler platform, and we need to make sure the arrow is facing away from me. And we're just going to place that just there when it goes into green, and then we can put the biomass heater down right there like so and then you're going to take a mark one belt because you're going to take 7.5 per minute let me just double check that heater wasn't it heater biomass heater with solid biomass 7.5 per minute cool so we just need to make sure that after the fourth heater has consumed the biomass we can then merge that line onto this 120 line so all we need to really do now is you're going to be giving out how much carbon dark side? I need to go into this again, don't I? You're going to be giving out 30 carbon dioxide, and we have a capacity of 150 uh, on the carbon, right? Let me just double check. I should have put this down in my little notepad. Um, but just double check. No, it's 75. This is the thingy, isn't it? CO2. Oh, it releases 15. Ignore me. It releases 15 carbon dioxide okay so yeah we're fine so if we go with uh 15 30 60 which will be four five will be one co2 tower so let's put five in a row which will be for one co2 tower so let's get another platform and then just start putting these down literally side by side three four five we're going to do that and then we're just going to get you 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 and you and get you powered up and then we just need to put a smart splitter a smart splitter a normal conveyor splitter on all of these inputs like so with a mark one input like that with a mark two coming down so that is five heaters and we now need to get the carbon out of here so we're going to put the carbon dioxide building right here. So we're going to go with power, cooling platform. Oh, I need iron wire. I need to get some supplies. So let's get some iron wire. Is there anything else I can grab from here? Well, so much stuff on me right now, which is just 
sitting here not doing anything. Uh, plates were good. Rods. We're going to need some rods. Uh, rods are in... Which container is it? That's sheets. You're in this one. Get some rods. Uh, frames are good. Reinforced plates. We could get some of them. Which are over here. I've had to turn this assembler off, by the way, because we actually consumed more plates than we was actually making. And uh, I was it was <laughs> I was running out of reinforced plates was filling up in there. R really, I should make this into a sink storage now, right? Uh, what else do I kind of need? Um, we got some cable, we got some wire, we got some criterion, we got some plates. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, maybe I sh maybe some tin. I don't know if I need to get some tin. Oh, I am going to need some uh, simple conveyor belts. So let's handcraft a couple of these. Uh, well, I can only make 108. And I do need to get, get some tin sheets if I do want to make more. Okay, so where was we at? We needed the boilers, right? No, I needed the pipes. No, I needed the CO2. <laughs> I needed the CO2. Um, power. Cooling platform. There we go. Right, so I want this to be facing that way, right? Because the pipe's going to be coming in from where I'm facing. So if we was to put it to there, and then we were to put a CO2 chimney here, and then I can just literally go into here, get a pipeline junction, and start getting all of these to start sending out where they need to be going, right? So, and then what I'm going to do, as per usual, like in every season we do, or every gameplay we do of uh, Satisfactory, we are going to color code everything, usually to the color that they kind of are, uh, meaning, you know, the CO2 chimney might be like a, a dirty gray kind of color you know let's get them in there and then fill these pipes in like so bada bing bada bloody bosh and then you can literally just come around here like so and then go straight into there that should now be the co2 dealt with and then on top of this we then need to look into into the power section we then need to go into boilers so the boilers can just go on top of these like this three four five and then we know that they're going to intake water. So we're going to get the water from here, which we are producing 75 per minute. So 15, 30, uh, 45, 60, then 75. You are going to be consuming 22.5 water per minute. Um, so we know we don't have enough with just them five. Um, so we are going to bring in a water extractor, which I can attach later on. But let's focus on where the power's coming from. So we already know this is going to be outputting 30 steam per minute. And that is then going to go into a, uh, a a turbine. So we need this. So let's make sure the arrows are facing the right way. And this is a one-to-one -one ratio, which makes it super simple. So let's put that down there. Turbine into there. And then, then this is going to get a MV generator onto the end like that. And what is the power? Oh, the power connects to this. That's kind of cool. That's cool. A little unique, simple power line. Um... And then from here, we can just get one pipe to go straight into there, right? Which will make sure we set it to... Let's have a noodle this time. Like a noodle pipe. So from there, straight in. And then we are going to do the same over here, right? So we're going to get another platform. And we're just going to put down five of these in a line facing the heater that they're going to go into. So let me just do that. And do that. And then more turbines. So one, oh, I need more rotors. We're not actually automating rotors. So I'm going to have to handcraft a few rotors to get these down. I can make 28. I need, oh, I need lead sheets if I want to make more. Well, at least we're automating them. So let's put you down, you down, and you down. Um, and then we're going to put down another generator here. Oh, God, more rotors. I'm going to have to go get some lead sheets. Lead sheets, lead sheets, lead sheets. Get some of you, whip out you, so I can handcraft some more rotors. Rotors? Where are they? Hello? Friendly? There you go. Okay. You guys don't need to see this bit. Okay. Generator, generator, and generator. Bada bada ding, bada bada ba boom. Nice. So now we just need to connect these pipes up like I did with the other ones. Actually. I would like an indicator on this. So is the one that will give me an indicator? Maybe Auto 2D? Yes, Auto 2D give me an indicator. So we can connect all these up now. And then we need to worry about the steam that these are going to be producing, right? Because these are going to out be outputting steam at... What was it per minute? 
so turbine it's going to be outputting 30 steam per minute and it requires and it can go into 150 so yeah five times 30 is going to be 150 beautiful so how we've got that co2 thing there we may as well do it for the same here do that let's grab a steam cooling tower which is a little bit different i really like the building designs of these they've really done well on this mod uh, and then what i'm going to do is we're going to go from this end and just to make sure everything's neat and tidy i'm going to get a pipeline we're going to get it facing that way um and then i'm going to just raise it from here go up by two and we're just going to zoop it across like this you must be wondering why are you doing this bitsy well let me show you i'm cooking okay so we're going to do that and then i'm then going to get a junction and i'm just going to place it like here and hopefully that gives me a nice 90 degree to come straight out there look at that it's like i played this game before so we're just going to do that we're going to aim at the right hand side leg of the left hand side generator to place you there and then we can just connect all these up make sure it's on horizontal vertical and that means the output for these and now oh what the blinking hell is that and then we're going to remove this remove that and we're just going to take you from here into there right um do i want to take this longer like further no let's get it to go here rotate there set it to vertical and horizontal there we go and we can do it that way so that now is all the steam connected i think we're near enough done aren't we i'm pretty sure we're near enough done yeah we just need to now connect up the water pipe oh this makes a weird sound i love how you can go into here and you can turn off these sounds and particles if you wanted to so that's the co2 dealt with that is then the steam dealt with we've dealt with the hot steam to go into the turbine to give us cold steam which goes into here we should then be making with this little you know compartment or section you could say is we're making five times 150 which is 750 so we're going to be making 3000 megawatts once well once i place down all 20 of them so after a few hours of building this now on the live stream you can see i have got it all completed i have literally just duplicated what i just built in the little thing we just built a minute ago and i've duplicated that now three more times to give us a total of 20 turbines i've also now got the water coming into the boilers which are filling a total amount of six of them and yes, I am consuming the ones from the fluid conditions as well. I've just merged it with a water extractor line, which merges with the output of the fluid conditioners, which allows me to consume the water at 100% efficient rate with what's being backed up in the fluid conditioners, basically. Which then goes into the boilers, like I said. Um, and this one is actually set to 100% efficiency. Um, to actually get all this consumed right here because as we know if the fluid condition is back up with the water it does mean unfortunately everything else will stop working and that does include the biomass which we can't afford to otherwise we can't power the turbines well the heaters so as i stated we have 120 going down here and then right at the end here you've noticed this is the constructor that is providing 30 solid biomass and as i stated earlier this is now going on to the 120 line uh merging with it to come you know to make it so we can join up to the rest of these and these can get powered and then all of these have got their own water extractors as well which if we go downstairs they are crammed in this little section of the oasis right here to provide me some water and with these being here i don't mind these being under efficient which they are they will shut down they will boot up they will shut down and boot up the water will not affect any of the machines up above, which is I well, which basically I'm okay with. So right now, you might also notice there is two red lights right here. That is because this is a manifold line, and for those that know what a manifold line is, it's when everything pushes along one belt and it feeds the machines to capacity one by one by one by one. So getting the uh, solid biofuel to these N2 right here is going to take some time. So I'm going to leave it for a few hours because the biofuel is slowly making its way into these heaters and unfortunately it's not making it in time uh, at the end right now until some of these other ones down here start filling up to capacity and this is why in some instances load balancing is 100 better in some cases 
when you're doing these kind of long manifold style builds because you won't have this problem but it will uh finish uh, uh, you know it, it will work eventually it just won't happen straight away unless you preload the machines which you could do which then means we don't need this anymore we're gonna i'm just gonna leave it here for the time being until i delete it uh, but also i'm seeing a problem with my stone which i have rerouted to the new project but this should be a 120 line no, a 100 line. So let's have a look at what's going on with this stone. We can already see stones coming out and we can already see that these two are working, these two are not. So why is the rubite not working? We have you guys output in there. The lead. The lead is currently backed up because the storage is full, which means I now need to upgrade these storage containers uh, to the sink ones so we can get this up and running because we should have the power now. So I'm just going to... What I'm going to do as a temporary solution is we're just going to do that. I'm going to remove um, all of these belts from here, like so. And then I'm going to go into the specials tab and get the awesome sync storage mark one. And then we can power this. And I'm just going to connect this up to her here right now. Uh, I should have enough. Oh, no, I don't have enough rotors again. Typical. Uh, uh, <laughs> I need to make more rotors. <laughs> okay, so 40 rotors later, I can then put a couple more down like this. And then I'm just going to connect these up to this and connect all these up here as well. And then all I need to do is get these powered. And then Bob is our uncle. Yes. I've noticed a few of you are now starting to say that in the comments. <laughs> so they can get that powered. And then all these items that are in this storage can then start being sunk. Which in turn will stop the lead from backing up. And then will give me more stone. So connect that up to a main grid line, which I'm going to connect to you. Get all these moving, which the lead is now moving. And if the lead is now moving, that should start moving this, which I'm just going to remove you just to speed up the process. And then I'm going to go into here and I'm going to remove you also. So then you guys get moving, which should bring out my stone beautiful like i said it's like i played this game before i played the game before but not the mod just to, just to clarify that so now the stone will come down here merge into here which should give me four in a line not two so where's the four come on four nope that's three come on four nope that's three maybe i'm thinking it maybe it is meant to be three Oh no, there's four. Yes. And beautiful. Nice. So now, with that problem averted, we know we will be providing enough stone down here to uh, to keep the power up and bloody running. Which, we technically need to find out how our power grid is running right now. So, let's check. Nice. We have a capacity of 393. I don't think that is with the these online unless they are online are they are these consuming you are consuming aren't you no you're not you are not consuming beautiful so that additional 300 is the wind turbines on top of the 3000 we're making here but technically we're not making 3000 yet because of them two end machines and there we have it thank you so much for watching we have now got steam power up and running and if you're interested in more of my content check it out right here and as always keep smiling and i'll see you in another video